Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Taylor and Stefan. So today we're just doing a simple, relatively quick dish. We are gonna make homemade fig jam. So we have all of our black figs right here. They're rinsed. All we're gonna do, you can either just cut these like this and just take the stem off. So we're gonna do that as we go and just put them on the side to go to the compost. Some people like to use a processor. I actually more just like to cut them up, but you could do either. I suppose a processor would be quicker, but I actually think, think it cooks it down quite well without doing that. So we have about a good amount of figs here. I'll go ahead and count each one too as we go. But all we're gonna do is just cut them all up first. Okay, as you can see, the figs are nice and chopped up. They're in the pot already. So it was about 16 ounces of figs that I put in here. So now we wanna go ahead and we wanna cut a lemon and we're gonna squeeze half of a lemon juice in there with no seeds, of course. And then instead of using sugar, I actually prefer to use honey. You just wanna get a honey that you like the taste of. That would be the most important. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and add So I have the raw uncooked honey, and this one is actually from Missouri. I love to taste the honey that comes out of Missouri with the flowers. So we're gonna add about five tablespoons you can add more, you can add less, and we're gonna taste it at the end to see if it's got a pretty balanced taste in there, if it's sweet enough. So let's go ahead and add all that in there. And then next, what we wanna do is we wanna add a little water. I would say about three tablespoons of water in here. We're gonna put a lid on it and just let it cook on the stove top. Okay, as you can see, it's looking really nice right here. So it's been cooking for a little while. And all we're gonna do is just take a masher. We're just gonna mash it down. And then we're gonna let this cook for at least another 15 minutes without the lid. Cause I want some of that steam to come off or steam to come out, excuse me. Cause I like mine a little bit thicker. And again, if you want it to be super thin, just go ahead and use a blender or use a food processor. And it smells and tastes so good, I had to try a little bit already. All right, the fig jam is all done. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in our jar to keep it stored in the fridge. You know what I love about fig jam is you can use it on different things. You can put it on crackers. You can put it, one of my favorites, I remember as a child, was with brie cheese. You have the baked brie cheese with the fig. And it's much nicer if you have a homemade fig instead of going to the store and purchasing it. Plus it tastes better. And I would also like to say you have to tune in to Campbell's Freedom Farm. She did a video on the fig plant. So if you have figs, you can definitely learn how to take care of them. We're always investing in figs one day. They're amazing plants. Plus they produce an amazing fruit as well to eat. So we're gonna put all this in here. Let me know if you guys try this. And I would say if you wanna try this, you wanna try it sooner than later unless you want to use frozen figs because they're only in season right now and for a little bit longer. And I think that's what's great about figs is you don't have access to them all the time unless they're frozen. So you appreciate them more. Well, please subscribe, like, and share. Have a great day.